Who is King Sean? You too. What's up? It's Who is King Sean? And we're back again with another banger. Today, I got a quick video for y'all. I'm going to let you know. I'm going to show you actually three business lines of credit that you could get today with no documentation. But before I get into that, please bear with me. Let me tell you the information before we move on. Please, I need y'all to know all this information, right? So yes, you could get all three of these with no documentation, but what's happening now, because everything that's going on in the world, you, you know, you already know what people are doing uh, when it comes to these banks and stuff like that, right? We ain't gonna get into that. But what they're doing is that they are tightening up their security, right? So when you're gonna do these business lines of credit and asking for a no documentation, not the ones I'm gonna show you today, any other ones, Wells Fargo, Truist, PNC, whatever it may be, you get the point what I'm trying to say. And you're trying to get these business line of credit because you built a great relationship with them for a couple months, right? So now you want that business line of credit. When you're going in and you're filling out these applications, right? This is what's gonna happen in the next 24 months. All banks is gonna do this, right? So what's going on with Truist Bank right now, right? I wanna give you a heads up. If you walk in there, uh, asking for a business line of credit. Um, you might have did a relationship with them for a couple months. You might think everything's all good. Once you do that application, right? And you go out there and they ask you, how much is your business making? And you tell the Truist, I make a quarter million dollars. Guess what Truist is doing? They're gonna send that application out, but they're gonna request a 4506C or a 4506T. I need your people to understand it. Start looking up these different codes so you can understand what's going on behind the scene. And what that is, that, that's a request to the IRS to actually get your actual number so they can actually see. So if you're saying, whatever it may be, I made 100,000, I made a quarter million dollars, 300,000, 500,000. Once that form uh, gets to the IRS and they submit the papers back to Truist, now they're gonna see that your company only made 30 and 40,000 now. So what they're gonna do, they're gonna blacklist you. Now you're not gonna have no relationship with Truist anymore. You'll never be able to open any account or apply for any of their products ever again. And they have to do it because what's going on in the world, man. Um, these banks are tightening up their security. In the next 24 months, I can see every single bank requesting that. And to actually get a business line of credit, they're gonna be following those 4506C or the 4506T, depending on the business and stuff like that, to make sure what you are saying on these applications is actually true. So I just wanted to you know, give you this heads up right now, because I know nobody on YouTube is telling people this right now. You know, not even telling you uh, what is a 4506C or T. You know, look them up, start, remember what I tell you. No matter what I tell you or anybody tell you, do your own research, people. But this give you a heads up. If you're trying to build a relationship with Truist, that's over it. Don't even try to do it because they will be sending that form. And if you lie, they will um, catch you in the act and you will be blacklisted. But let's get to the video right now. I'm going to show you three business line of credit that you can still get with no documentation. Right? The first one is Funbox. Um, I think I applied probably about four and a half years. Uh, with Funbox, initially uh, they gave me about ten grand. I think my business at the time probably was making like thirty or forty thousand dollars, and um, they gave me ten thousand dollars. So they're real good. They're gonna ask you to connect uh, your business checking account with Plaid. They want to see what's going in. They want to see what's going out, and they'll determine how much you want, right? So you see right here, you could get up to one hundred fifty thousand. So let's go right there. I want to show you something. Um, again, you could get this done in three minutes. Like I said, I did the application years ago. Um, it was at nighttime by the next morning. They checked everything in my business checking account through Plaid, gave me my proof for 10,000, had no issue, right? And you will be making payments every 30 days. Now you might see this, I wanna show you this. $100,000 in annual revenue, which is not true, because at the time I was making probably 30 to 40,000 in my business years ago. Um, and they still gave me 10,000. So um, everything else is accurate, you know what I mean, 600. Uh, personal score and again you might be saying will they be doing a hard entry now this is the trick with Funbox alright they gonna do let's say today you get approved for whatever $50,000 business line of credit 40, 30, 20 whatever it may be 100 whatever it may be right you get approved for it 
once you actually withdraw, because once I got this business line of credit, I actually didn't use it for about four months because I had other business lines of credit I was using. I had tons of business credit cards. So when I actually did it, what I did, I went and put a freeze on my experience. So when I actually withdraw it, they can't put a freeze. So you will see an Experian hard pull, not when you're doing the application, not when you get the money and get the proof, when you actually do that first withdrawal. So when um, I had that 10,000, I think I initially took like five grand out of it. They tried to give me that hard pull. I got alert, but I had a freeze on it. So up to today, like I said, it's close to five years. I still never got a, um, a hard inquiry, but this is simple application is pretty simple and then again no matter what i say anybody say always go through trust pilot and they got about four and a half stars you know um again you get this with no documentation you could go right in as long as you got the you know the basic couple trade lines uh re reporting on your business side you know some tier ones or whatever you know whatever it may be you know some granger U line whatever it may be it doesn't even matter they're gonna prove you know so number two, let's go to number two. Number two is American Express. And the good thing with American Express, if you have any of their personal credit cards, business credit cards, it doesn't matter, right? You could go and apply for their business line of credit. Um, their business line of credit started early last year. I got it as soon as the product dropped, I got right on it. And uh, I built a great uh, relationship with American Express just by having their cards and stuff. It was prior, it was cabbage. They went in there and bought cabbage, but cabbage was giving you hard pulls. It was doing a lot of things, but overall, I think it's a easy business line of credit. And you already know American Express got exclusive relationship with Experian. So, but for me, I had it. I already had cards. I already had business cards. I never got a hard inquiry uh, with them, which is really good. And you can see right here, be at least 18 years of age. Again, be in business at least year and have a FICO score of six city, excuse me, 660, and have an average monthly revenue of at least 3,000. That's that's nothing, you get what I'm saying? That's, again, this is another great place you could get it with no documentation. And when I did their business line of credit, they started me off for like seven grand, and today I'm up to about $20,000 with them. Um, so again, American Express, you know, you could build build a great relationship with them because they got a lot of products that can benefit you, right? So let's go on to the last one is Marcus by Goldman Sachs, which they have a business line of credit. Before you could have went right onto their site, but now they partner up with Nav. So what you're gonna have to do, you're gonna have to go and log into your Nav, scroll down, you see the Marcus by Goldman Sachs. Again, scroll right down here. And then you can see the different things. Let me see if you logged in, you can see the different loans on revenue. Revenue is another one you could get with no documentation, not that bad. Um, but to do the business line of credit with GM, again, um, you wanna have at least a 660 credit score and they exclusively through Experian too. Got another great relationship with Experian. So when you actually get approved and everything, it will go through Experian, but initially it will be a soft pull. So you don't have to worry about that and again. It won't be charged until you start withdrawing. Only go through NAV to do this business line of credit. I want to give you a heads up. Again, you know, I come, I give you the information raw and uncut. Um, again, these are three companies that you could get a business line of credit with no documentation. Now, I have Funbox and, and uh, American Express. I do not have the GM, but I have worked with people I mentored and helped them get uh, the business line of credit with them. My last client I had, they got about 22.5 on their business line of credit, which was really good. It's pretty simple and easy. So again, get in the comments, tell me what you think. If you have any kind of past relationship with any of these companies, get in the comments, tell me what you think. I'm here to win. Again, I got videos coming. I wanna see y'all win in 2024. I do not wanna hear no excuse. Stop being lazy and let's do the work. Like, comment, subscribe, but for now, I'm up out of here. Peace.